I guess it would help if I actually unmuted my microphone. It's working! Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Welcome on in, everybody. It's so great to see all of you here. Um, wow, this is uh, easily the most people I have ever had watching a stream at one time. And the last time I did this was like 2017. But I used to do extra life streams before that. And it was mostly me just streaming for myself. It was fine. <laughs> How are we doing today? How does everything sound? Are audio levels good? Can people hear stuff? Can we... Let's see. Desktop audio, I do not see inputting anything, but it is very quiet right now, so it's always entirely possible. Audio levels are good, awesome. That's great. That is the, the difficult thing about streaming when it's really just yourself is, uh, whoop, is that it's really hard to test your own audio levels. Don't worry, I'll die getting you to partner by months and please don't die. That would make me very sad actually. And I, I don't think that, I don't think that that would be good for you or for anybody involved. I would miss you. I would miss you a lot, friend. So what are we doing today? Today we are playing just a short little stream of some Night in the Woods. Uh, this is one of my favorite games that I have ever played. Um, I played it originally when it came out for the Switch and got it as part of the, uh, was that itch.io Black Lives Matter uh, bundle. And I realized I had it, I wanted to play it again. So here we go. Oop. Oh, my cursor doesn't like that. Well, gee, hang on. Hmm, that's weird. Cursor doesn't want to show up on Night in the Woods itself. Well, that's going to make playing this game really interesting. <laughs> Here we go. Start new game. Nope. Didn't like that either. Oop. We're off to a great start. <laughs> Don't open a second copy of the game. I didn't want that. I wanted this. Hmm. Why does it not let me use my cursor on the actual game window? I am not sure. Well, let's see what happens if we do the good old fashioned restart the game. This is the exciting stuff. Let's give that a shot. Thank you for that nice choice of shades. I really like these. I wound up getting them because I was told that uh, wearing literal rose-colored glasses can actually help boost your mood. And I thought, why not give that a shot? Okay, this is really weird. The cursor doesn't want to show up at all on the game. Hold on. Well, in the meantime, if anybody has tips for how to get your cursor to actually go on the game window so you can click on things, 
I appreciate that. But until then... Oh, hey, Ink. Thanks so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Why are you like this? Hmm. Whoop, you did it again. Try alt tab till you get to the game. Thank you. I knew somebody in here would know this. Whoop. very strange. Do I have a controller plugged in? No, I do not. I'm just doing this mouse and keyboard wise. Why are you like this? Huh. Unclear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's bizarre. I can actually like I can, but let's see. Hitting enter doesn't actually do anything. What the heck? Hmm. There we are. What are you trying to use here? No, okay. Well, that's very strange, but we figured it out. We can do this with mouse and keyboard. I don't really care if I can't use the mouse. I'll just use the mouse when I need to, to talk to you. Old school, all keyboard controls. Yes, we're doing it, we're doing it. All right, let me just turn my actual volume down a little bit because that is very loud. So hey, uh, welcome back. We're playing Night in the Woods today, a uh, game that I really, really love. Uh, this is a game that is very like narrative and story focused. I don't think this game comes with any content warnings, although it does get a little bit into sort of like family interpersonal relationships. And sometimes those can be a little tricky, but there's nothing particularly objectionable as far as I remember in the game uh, to look out for. This game also has two different kind of narrative branching paths, so I think we're gonna try the one that I didn't do when I played this for the Switch previously, so. Oh, you just finished this, Nate? Oh yeah, I love this game. Like, I, I had such a good time playing it the first time through, and I've been wanting to revisit for forever. So let's do it. in the year granddad died. Ooh, we get to pick. We had the worst flood since 1998. The highway extension came. Oh, I get to pick either of those. Hmm, worst flood since 1998 or highway extension. What do we choose? I think I'm gonna go with the flood. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. <laughs> oh, Greg. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. In their wings in the trees. Ooh, that's creepy. Or... They went looking for the gods. They feared death. Okay. I'm going for they went looking for the gods. That is so cool. Yeah, classic Greg. Okay. And died in lonely places. 
Here it comes. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window at the old empty mill, at the old parking lots, at the old trains, at the old playground. Ooh, the old playground. Oh, I like that though, that's so evocative. We gotta go old playground. Half washed away, he turned to my dad. Eyes still wide, this house is haunted, he said, and died. This is so great. I love coming back. I, I do like voices for all of the characters in these type of games, just even as I'm playing. So we'll see how long I last trying to do consistent voices for them live on the internet. Well, this is great. I mean, I didn't expect a party or anything, but I figured someone would be here. Welcome home, May. Excuse me, but where is everybody? It's 1045, it's closed. Not a lot of folks getting off the last bus to Possum Springs these days. Oh my God, this guy has a bird goatee. Look at the bottom of his bill. Okay, that, I'm not gonna think too hard about the logistics of a bird goatee, but that's freaking hilarious. Just you. Ooh, is there supposed to be someone at the desk? Or so are you the janitor or something? Uh, I'm gonna ask is there supposed to be someone at the desk? Closed. Why are the lights on? Why is the TV on? I get spooked when I'm here by my lonesome. Oh. Well, that was interesting. Hey, any lovely ladies out there looking for an eligible bachelor? Get in touch. And I'll let you know if I find one. <laughs> but um, Something happened there if I, oh, oh, no, just like that, okay. Oh, let's check this mural out, that looks fun. Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. <laughs> oh, oh, let's see, what do we got here? It must be such a relief to payphone companies that Possum Springs gets zero cell reception. Dude, that's such a thing. It'd be cool to call my parents, but some jerkhole took the time to actually rip it off. Who steals a phone? If you've played this game, you probably know who steals a phone. What do we got here? Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. <laughs> Jerk hole. All right, let's go to the town. Can I, can I leave, please? Can I squeeze past you? Nope, just broke the damn thing. When do you think it might be done? Right after you go grab me a fiascola from the machine. Oh my God. Am I paying for this? I always rig it when I'm here after hours. Nice, free as in free? Free as in no one's here to say otherwise. Huh. Okay. That's fine. I don't mind doing a little light thievery for this. What the? They have wine fiasco and he wants a fiascola? That's just a waste. Uh, 
Okay, just gotta grab it. Uh, oh, here comes the fun time of let's figure out what, uh, what are the controls to grab. Here we go. Okay, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> You know what, I'm actually gonna move my, um... no, that's not gonna work. Let me make my camera a little bit smaller. So I'm not blocking out all the beautiful artwork. There we go. <clears throat> One free ass cola. <laughs> she said ass cola, that's funny. Yummers. So what are you doing here? I live here. Well, lived here. Huh, strange. When do you think that door is going to be finished? Now. Goodbye. Uh, bye. Ooh, what's this? Well, I'm right outside town. Mom and dad, nowhere to be found. Dark and cold, guess I'm walking alone. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This bus station is maybe the newest thing in Possum Springs. Guess they got state funding or something. It makes a good first or last impression, I suppose. If not for the abandoned glass factory back there. Not getting rid of that anytime soon. Man, in my hometown, that was actually a paper mill and it's still there. Stinks a lot. Whee! Yay, I can stand on a bench. Wow. I didn't realize how much I missed the sound of that train. I used to hear it in my bed at night. During the winter when the leaves were down. Oh. Can I climb this tree? I cannot. It was worth a shot. I can climb this trash can. Whee! We'll probably be wasting a lot of time with me just jumping random places to see what I can do. Well, I guess I'm gonna hike through the woods. Through the woods is home. My bed. And my negligent parents. Hey. <laughs> Oh, nice. A pipe. Ugh, this is some dank nature. <laughs> dank nature. Oh my god. <laughs> May, you are such a disaster child. Dank nature and garbage. <laughs> ah. Are these food donkey shopping carts? That's all the way across town. That's dedication. Oh. There used to be an old sawmill around here, I think. I mean, the park up there is called Sawmill Park. Looks like they lost a log load at some point. Hmm, a log load. Ah. <sighs> Gonna have to climb this, I guess. Shopping bags are little ghosts. Whoa, girl, that's deep and it's only noon. 
of grocery stores. <laughs> Haunting everywhere else. Wait, I want to do all the dialogues. Oh, wow, I heard a toad. And a ghost owl. I bet there are already a number of potential witch familiars down here. Ooh, yes. Witch familiar. If I had a witch familiar, mm, it'd have to be a cat with bat wings. That needs to, that needs to happen again. That was a thing in Zweihander, but like if that was a thing in real life, I'd love it. Wait, what? What? Oh, maybe I can jump on this. Uh -huh. Oh! See? I knew recklessness was going to be my save saving grace here. Oh my god. That was dangerous. I could have died. That was amazing. <laughs> oh man. I am not gonna die in this hole. Oh. There we go. Yeah, we do gotta break the log. This is just me trying to jump with a space bar. Ugh. There we go. It is quirky. It is, there are, there are lines in this game that kind of hit me just like poetry lines and I come back to them a lot. There's a bunch of them that I've like written down and thought about. Wow, I haven't been here in maybe 10 years and apparently no one else has. holding the wrong key there. I don't know what they were going for here. Some sort of boat castle? Most of it's gone now. Just a thing for weird animals to eat and have babies in. I wonder what kind of weird animals have babies in there. Dirt possums, night snakes, Mystery beasts of all shapes. I remember Kathy Domingo's boyfriend took her here to make out and then break up. And then the next day, Kathy pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring at the Fort Lucene Mall. This entire area is so full of romance. <laughs> hey. You can still see Mr. Snorkels on this. Oh, Mr. Snorkels, who are you? Whoop. Jumping with a space bar is weird. Practice, practice, practice. Here we go. I knew I could get up here. Ahoy! I definitely remember barely reaching the top of this wheel. I definitely remember barely growing since then. Oof, that's me. Looks like the ladder is gone. If I could just get to the top of this thing. Ugh. You can do it. I could never make it up onto that tree when I was a kid. The number logs mocked me. The logs and the other kids. Oh, let me see if I can visualize this. Thank you, game. Mm, mm-hmm. Can't stop running while I do this, not even for a second. Gotta have enough momentum. Oh, no. I think I can do it. Run and jump, jump, jump. 
Maybe I should just give up without even really trying? Hmm. Wait, we're gonna try, we're gonna try run and jump, jump, jump. That's what I want. That's the one that I want. Yay. It's only been two years since I lived here. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. True story, this was me last night in real life. I went out to a little playground and I just sat in the top of it and it was really nice. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Aww. R.I.P. Granddad. Your parents forgot about you. Aw, May. Oh, when you feel out of control, remember that you always have options. Count to 10, take a deep breath, take a nice walk, practice positive self-talk, LPS, or IPS, sorry, identify possible solutions, smile, options, it's good, Dr. Hank. That's not what I wanted, though. Let's see. We... Boop, boop, boop. Hello, Spooper Trooper. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hello, May. Been a while. Hey, what are you doing out here? Nothing better to do? I was out here doing my rounds and I saw you in the very off-limits playground. Busted. So, get in the car, May. No. You wanna spend your first night back in jail, May? No. Well. Oh, it's me dad. Oh, it's Chris from UF. Oh my God. How are you, friend? It has been such a long time. Oh man, it's so great to see you again. <laughs> oh, yay. We're just playing some Night in the Woods, which is a game that I actually played on the plane uh, when I was leaving UF and it really hit me hard and I'm coming back to it. Yeah, it has been a really long time. Thank you so much for stopping by. That's really nice. Hey, remember me? Ah! May, you gave me a heart attack. Good. What are you doing? Oh. May, honey, we thought you were coming tomorrow night. You thought wrong. Oof, this has happened to me in real life and it sucks. How did you get here? I walked until I got arrested by Aunt Mall Cop. Oh, did you say hi to Molly for me? No. I say hi for no one. Yeah. F the cops. I'm going to bed. Is my bed still here? Or are we waiting for tomorrow night for that too? Oh, May, so good to hear that voice again. Good night. Ooh, we got a journal entry. Dad looks older? Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. I always thought it was kind of funny that they have a cat clock, even though they are Cats. Well, cops are cats. <laughs> yeah, in this game they are. I think, I think they are at least. Ooh, let's go upstairs. Hey. There are a few things hanging around in here from the old country. <laughs> the old country. <sighs> this clock, the trunk in the storage room. And whatever is buried under the house after the cement incident. Oh, good. 
This thing goes off randomly every month or so. Little wooden duck pops out, makes the weirdest sound. Scares dad half to death every time. Used to joke it was granddad getting even with him from beyond the grave. It's funny. I don't want to go in there just yet. I want to look around. Oh, no, I forget. You always have to jump to like stay on this level. No, okay, there was nothing. What's in here? Ooh. Ugh. Since when is the crawl space all jammed up? Wonder if dad could move them. Yeah, dad put him here, I bet. Dad should move them. It's only fair. Oh. There we go. Oh, father, would you please be so kind as to move these boxes, dear? Can't, what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Daddy. Oh, he must be asleep because I can't talk to him. Oh, well. It's really hard to tell behind the glasses, but it's also hard to tell because you never know if dads are asleep or they're just resting their eyes. I can't jump on him. Father! Father, please! I crave the crawl space. <laughs> wow, there's so much like dad anger. <laughs> <clears throat> Witch dagger! Oh my god, so good. I, I will say, one of the things that I love the most about this game, and that I'm hoping if you've never seen this before, or you've never played it, you'll fall in love with too, is I love the soundtrack to this game so much. I listen to it all the time, even like years after playing it for the first time. So get ready for the first of the songs that will recur surely. Actual footage of me going to sleep. <sighs> There we go. Bum, bum. <laughs> Sleep and wake up animations are very relatable. Yes. Yes? What's that? It just arrived. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so exciting! Maybe we should play tonight? You want to open it up and learn how to play? At some point, I'm taking the dogs out right now. Okay, but... sounds good. Love you. Are you streaming? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> that was my husband. Um, we just got the Stardew Valley board game in the mail, which is what I spent my birthday money from his grandma on this year, because I love Stardew Valley. So that was Sean. Hi, Sean. Witch Dagger is a cool name changing all my social media again. He is, he is, he's a sweetheart. Oh, and now we wake. Could play some bass, but which song? Oh yeah, we're playing Space Dragon because the thing is that like when I played this originally too, I did not uh, I did not play the musical mini games as much as ever I should. And that is going to change this playthrough because there are songs that I didn't get to encounter in the playthrough that I did through the soundtrack. So, Space Dragon, Wanderer in Space, Nomad of Forbidden Place. Oh God. Which keys is this gonna be? <gasps> Numbers! <laughs> oh God. Oh 
Okay, we're gonna have to change the key bindings on this because fuck this. Oh my god. It's very quiet, yeah. Confidence will kill you every time. Boom. Where's your vibrato, May? Come on. That was fine. Be kind of cool if you could plug in a Guitar Hero port for this part. Oh, I would love that. That would be so much fun. I literally do not know the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, May. Hmm, maybe once more. But which song? Now nah, we'll do this later. Maybe. Oh, aw, family photos. I was so cute then. We were all so cute then. Cuties, the lot of us. We could have a traveling show. The cute Borowskis, or Borowskis, potentially. <laughs> Date the keyboard to a guitar, oh my God. Yeah, maybe like eventually whenever we have fun channel point stuff, I'll have guitar related things as a, as a channel point thing. Got to figure that out. It was pretty great when granddad gave me that apple crate of old scary stories. Not sure how they ended up out here. Death comes to Wigglesbury. <laughs> the fancy corpse. Helmol Stevenson. <laughs> There's one for you, Bright. Hello, Mole Stevenson. <laughs> Necropus book the first. Lady Shark. The Stoat on Gallows Hill. Mom has all of her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy, sad shelf in their room. Oh, looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. <laughs> One family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, Mom. <laughs> hey, look, some of Dad's books got in here. Finches of North.